So once you've 3D printed a part, usually the first surface, the final surface on the top, is perfectly coplanar. And well, that's all good and fine, but depending on how your printer's set up, you may have some gap. Lined up here between the outer edges. So when you go to lay up this printed frame onto a piece of plexiglass, you're going to find that there's just a little bit of rock on the surface. And if you're mixing silicone, even heavy viscosity, it's going to leak through that gap. So to flatten it out, all you need is a flat surface, usually a plate of glass or slab of rock, a piece of sandpaper, your printed part, and a fair amount of patience. So all you have to do is hold your material flush and go and set it. This is not an exciting process, so we're going to switch to timeline. So here we are, everything sanded flat, and now you know you have a watertight mold, but you always want to check the edge, make sure this is in focus, make sure you check the edge uh, to press down on the corner and make sure there's not a lot of rocker there when you're holding on to those points, they should just be flush. Okay. So check side A, and then don't forget to check side B, make sure you're going to have a watertight mold, and then actually check if you can get it to uh, be watertight. All right, let's see if it's watertight. Shut that off for a second. A little bit of water coming out the sides. Nothing we're worried about with uh, the thick, viscous silicone, but water is always a good test. One thing you got to be aware of with the silicone, as with the water, is if your mold's sliding around because your rubber bands aren't too tight, uh, your gasket's going to be okay until that happens. Okay. So just make sure that when you set down your your mold frame, that it's either flush to the table or set stably so that it can't just scooch on down. There you go.